This is a serious problem. Royal High is out of control. Hey little beans, we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers. To help us get there, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my daily Royal High videos. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course use stacker B when buying Robux or Premium. Can I just take a moment to say thank you to all of you who've been watching my roleplay channel lately. My roleplay channel has been my absolute pride and joy. I am putting so much effort into making the content on that channel right now. So if you do have time to go and watch it, it would literally mean the world to me. I'll leave a link down below to the most recent episode and if you guys even just watch for a minute, just let me know in the comments on the video so that I can send you a bunch of love because it really does mean a lot to me. Now, as you guys can see from the title of today's video, we are going to be talking about trading in Royal High, which has absolutely become out of control again. You may remember about two years ago when the tier list went absolutely wild and everything went crazy. Well, little beans, it seems it has happened again. And this time, the madness has got out of hand. It is absolutely ridiculous and I don't understand why it's got so bad. As many of you are remember back in the day Royal High was popular mainly for roleplay videos, dress up videos and things like that. After trading was released there was a huge shift in the content in Royal High and in the community because everybody started to focus on trading, getting the best profits they could, getting the best profit trades, utilizing trading in the best possible way, trading rare items etc etc and it became a huge problem because it meant that more and more people were overpricing items which totally shifted how Royal High went and the direction the game went in making items impossible to get for players who didn't get them when they were available, and making items so ridiculously overpriced that most of the average players could never simply afford them. Well, obviously, as you guys know, it got really bad back in 2020, but it started to come back down again throughout 2021 and 2022. But it seems that this year, for 2023, things are getting ridiculous again. Check out these new tier lists. As you can see, Mal tweeted the updated tier list back on the... 6th of March, but there is a new one coming as well. This is for the healers, you guys. Now, this is just pure madness. The cheapest healer is still about the same price you'd expect, around 400k for the spring 2020 and around 450 for the lucky 29. That's pretty normal, you guys. That has been that way now for a long time. But look at the prices of the more expensive healers. The Valentine's 21, which is not one of the rarest healers by any means, is averaging 3.5 million and rising. It is one of the most sought after to healers all of a sudden for some reason and is consistently rising in price getting more and more expensive it's actually kind of crazy i don't exactly know why this particular one is getting so expensive but it is and it's strange you guys because valentine's 21 is not that rare despite the fact that people are literally going crazy for it and spending close to four million diamonds on it as you can see, if we go over to the Halos on Tradery, most of this is reflected too. Halloween, Halo 21 going for over 2 million, even 2020 going for 1.1 million. Some of these Halos have got absolutely out of control. Val Halo 21 going at 3.5 million as discussed, and it's just crazy. Spring Halo 2022 is at 2 million and going over that. This is just getting so out of hand. Even things like the Witching Hour Halo, which are still going for almost 4 million diamonds. Also, if you look at the recent trade section, you'll actually find that there are people who are selling and buying these halos for ridiculous amounts. As you can see in the recent trades, people are selling this halo for 3.5 million, 3.55 million, and more people trading it for multiple halos. A Val Halo 2020, which used to be one of the most popular halos ever. 1.5 million diamonds and a Valentine's Halo 2020, which is just crazy. Some of these are just going for such ridiculous amounts. This one is going for Goddess of Triumph sets, Whimsy Witch sets, Spring Halo 22 and 160,000 diamonds. What is going on? People have reached absolute crazy levels when it comes to trading these Halos and for whatever reason they are only getting more and more expensive. As you can see other Halos like for example the Autumn Halo 2022 shares here at 2.9 million when in reality on Tradery right now it's actually going for more like 3.8 million. The Lucky 21 has gone right up again to 2.2 million diamonds. Valentine's 2020 has come down to 1.9 million, but still way overpriced. These are all going 
going crazy. Now, strangely, the Halloween Halo 2019, despite being the rarest Halo, has gone down to 1.6 million. My only assumption is that everybody who wanted the rare Halo probably already traded for it and now they're no longer interested. But this is not just for Halos. Hades tweeted the new Royal High of I Royal High item value list. And as you can see inside the rare values, there are some crazy levels in here too. We've got the large train burst get still going for around 550,000 diamonds. The Call Me Bob ring going for 300k. Original 2019 Parasol for 450k. Urgy Giant Teddy Bear going for 135,000. And then of course the Halloween items, they are lowering in price but are still quite expensive for a lot of them. Still a little bit too high for my liking. The Steampunk set has gone down in price but is still going for around 120,000 diamonds for the sword, 150,000 for the corset, 80,000 for the skirt and the wings at 7,000. Obviously you can win those back then. Then we have the Valentine's items which have gone up in price recently and then the winter and spring items which are somewhat stable but still some of them are quite expensive. It's interesting because as you can see Nat said for the last train burst get it's not correct because it's been increasing. I sold two of my last train burst get dupes for 600 to 650k and on tradery you can see more of them are going for 700,000 diamonds which is absolutely crazy Ace tweeted the Royal High set value list and this shows what the values of the sets are trading for the Goddess of Triumph currently still trading for 1.8 or more million diamonds the Goddess of Triumph is obviously one of the rarest sets in the game for obvious reasons but it's still going for ridiculously high amounts of money the steampunk set in total for around 430k the whimsy witch going for 300k and strangely december's dream despite being 194k when it was purchasable in game is going for 120k which i think is not that much of a lower price considering christmas is miles away now so people could probably actually end up getting a better price for it but since christmas wasn't that long ago before i'm surprised it's still so expensive and that so many people didn't buy it as time goes on this is getting worse and worse more and more people are spending ridiculous amounts of money on things in the game and as they do the price of things is rising more and more for other players all of the items are reaching ridiculous levels and i think nobody is going to be able to afford anything anymore by the time these things continue to happen naturally though there's nothing we can do about that and we'll have to just wait and see exactly what happens but it is crazy you guys and i am blown away by how many people are willing to pay these ridiculous prices i believe and i foresee that the trading in the game is going to get crazy again by the time the new school comes out and i think everybody is going to be unable to afford these prices let me know in the comments down below what you guys think is going on why do you think this is happening let me know your opinions thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell and i'll see you all soon i love you lots little beans and once again a reminder please don't forget to go and check out my new roleplay episode i love you guys lots and i'll see you soon goodbye